Mali's acting Prime Minister Sheikh Modimbo Diara has named three special advisors with ministerial ranking. Hamadoun Toure, Sadio Lamin So, and Mamadou Diakite were named Tuesday. Toure will be special advisor on government communication, So will be advisor on international affairs, and Diakite on employment and training of youth. Mali's transition leaders announced a new unity government Monday, replacing the transitional one created in April following the March 22nd military coup. And joining me now is our State Department correspondent, Scott Stearns. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Sure thing. <clears throat> Obviously, the U.S. has been following the developments in Mali pretty closely. What is, this, what is its take on the developments this week? The State Department says that this new transitional government is a good first step, but not yet a complete step. They're certainly happy with the consultative process that interim President Traore went through to come up with this transitional government. There are some concerns about uh, representation in northern Mali, which of course is, is the issue in mm -hmm. the country that led to the rebellion uh, against the former government's uh, inability to deal with mm -hmm. um, the insurgency in the north. State Department spokeswoman Victoria Nuland said the hope is that the two remaining vice presidential positions uh, in this interim government might be used to include northerners and, and expand that uh, the ability of the transitional government to be more representative of the whole country. Now, how closely is the U.S. working with, uh, in addition to the interim government, ECOWAS to try to resolve the situation in the north and also the potential uh, threat of terrorism out there? Certainly, uh, the United States was uh, involved with the previous government in Mali uh, to try to stem the influence of al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb uh, in the north. But since the coup, uh, that assistance has been stopped in terms of working uh, with ECOWAS on the, uh, the situation in Mali. The United States, yes, has, has always supported uh, what ECOWAS uh, has done the uh, efforts by ECOWAS military leaders to try to convince uh, the coup leaders in Mali to uh, come back to a full transition. Ultimately, the State Department says that this new transitional government will be judged on how successful it is in leading the country to peaceful, transparent democratic elections mm -hmm. and resolving some of the legitimate grievances on the part of the military that led to the coup in the first place. Now, speaking about the interim government, how confident is the U.S. that it will be uh, the kind of government that is, you know, balanced, considering that there's still this, a lot of speculation that the, the coup leader um, is still very much in control and also that the prime minister, as well as several members of the new cabinet, are very closely aligned to him, to Sanogo. That is, uh, Captain Sonogo's involvement in the power in Bamako remains a concern of the State Department, and that's perhaps one of the reasons why the State Department says this is not yet a complete step. Uh, the Obama administration believes that Captain Sonogo must not have any further role to play uh, in a transitional government that will truly lead uh, to new elections. I asked yesterday about uh, the presence in that transitional government of several people who were allies of, of Captain Sonogo and, and uh, Victoria Nuland said, well, she's not going to get into the various personalities of this government, that it has to be uh, one that's uh, comprehensive and involves all uh, actors okay. in Mali, but not Captain Sonogo himself, no. Well, thank you so much, Scott Stearns. Scott is our VOA correspondent there based at the State Department here in Washington.